Hi, I'm Marlene Cook, author of Eat What You Love, the best-selling cookbook that allows you to eat all the food you love, guilt-free. Today I'm in the kitchen to show you how to make my unbelievable chocolate cake. It's low in sugar, fat, and calories, and yet dark, decadent, and delicious, so everyone can enjoy it. The first thing we're going to do is put one quarter cup of oil, this is canola oil, which is healthy in monounsaturated fats, into the bowl. You notice there's no stick of butter in this cake, nice and healthy. To that, we add one large egg, and we simply whisk that together. Once you have the egg and oil mixed, you add one quarter cup, that's four tablespoons of brown sugar. There's a small amount of sugar in this, but it's just four tablespoons of brown sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla. Whisk once more. And once you get it to about this stage where it's nice and mixed together, then you can add the rest of your sweetener. Now this is a sugar substitute. It comes in the yellow bag. This is what's gonna work best for this recipe. But what I want you to see is, look at the amount of sugar you are saving from a normal chocolate cake. That's a lot of added sugar and a lot of added calories. But we've been able to replace all of that and only use our four tablespoons of regular sugar. And you're gonna be able to get a really nice smooth batter by simply whisking it for just maybe 30 seconds or so. And you can see you have this lovely ribbon of batter like so. The next thing you're gonna add is one cup of buttermilk. And because buttermilk has acid in it, it keeps things nice and tender with less fat. So buttermilk is a great healthy baking ingredient. We're gonna incorporate our buttermilk and now we have all of our liquids mixed together. Easy as that. I'm gonna add a cup and a quarter of cake flour. Cake flour is gonna let it rise large, make it nice and tender, and two teaspoons, one of baking soda and one of baking powder. When you're cooking with sugar substitutes, one of the things you need to do is add a touch more leavening. So that's another little tip for you. So we put that in, and last, a quarter cup of cocoa powder. Now I'm using Dutch process cocoa powder. The nice thing about the Dutch process is it's less acid, which means that it has a milder taste and it's darker, which gives the cake a wonderful rich dark color. Then you simply sift this straight into the bowl. It's as easy as this, quick, fast, fuss-free. If you have a few lumps left in there, and that's why you're, whisk, you're uh, sifting it, is to make sure that it's nice and smooth, is you can take your whisk and simply break those up a little bit to get a little bit more of your cocoa powder and flour into the bowl. But once you have it to about that point, no problem. Just move that away. Now, take the whisk and simply stir and whisk all of your dry and wet ingredients together until I have a nice, smooth, dark batter. Look at that. How quickly did that come together? I'm gonna get this nice and smooth. And then the last thing you're gonna add, you're gonna have a nice thick batter like this, but you are gonna add a quarter cup of hot water to this. Some people like to add coffee and get that little bit of hint of coffee flavor, but water works great for me. And it's gonna thin the batter a little bit, but this is gonna give it lots of lift and it's gonna make a really tender, light chocolate cake. Once you've got your batter done, you're gonna take an eight by eight inch pan that's been sprayed with baking spray. If you don't have baking spray, spray a little cooking spray and just a little touch of flour to make sure your cake will come out for you. And then simply pour your batter into your pan. There we go. We've got all of our batter in our pan. I'm gonna jiggle it around a little bit to get my few air bubbles out, and I'm ready to move it to the oven. I'm gonna take this right on over here, put it there, and 
with a little bit of kitchen magic. I've got one there ready to go for you to take a look. Already ready to go, finished baking, only 18 to 20 minutes in the oven, and you've got a delicious chocolate cake. The way I love to top it simply is by putting a little bit of powdered sugar right up there on top to give it a beautiful white dusting. It only takes about two teaspoons of powdered sugar to cover an entire cake. Now my favorite way to serve it is to take a nice big piece and top it with some light whipped topping and sliced strawberries. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the chocolate cake. I'm Marlene Cook.